a lot of improvements in my life. And I now believe in myself. Even those negative thoughts, when they try to come in, what I do, I just worship God. Because there is no negativity in this body anymore. And I want to thank God. I'm a different person. And I, have, I believe in myself now. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hold on. Praise the Lord. So the background of the story was that. Success. Say I'm a success. I'm a success. Say I'm a success. I'm a success. Why are you squinting? I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because I know even if I go home, I will still be scared. Like, can I do this? The fundamental thing that is wrong is what she's saying. It's not just what she's saying with her mouth. It's what she's saying to herself. You know what she was squinting? Her system does not agree with what she's saying. So as she was saying it, her system was repelling it that what you are saying is not familiar to us. Tell me the background to the story. Tell me, number one, you didn't believe. T tell me, yeah. I remember you stood up, you were crying. I said, you didn't believe in yourself. You didn't believe you could, you could succeed in anything. And there was a shift in your mindset through the power of God. And you began to say you believe in yourself. And um, so when are you getting your shop? Before leaving the church, like God used the family to bless me and to fair. Thank you so so much. What did and they bless you with? Yes. Tell me what they blessed you with. Financial assistance. So have you gotten the shop right now? Not yet. What are you waiting yes. for? But I've started like getting jobs on makeup. Like clients have been booking now. So when are you going to get the shop? I will. I'm going to save up. I want to tell you the month just by faith. This time next year, when are you going to get this shop? I want to get the shop. The opening should be on the 2nd of October, on my birthday. Praise the Lord. Hold on. She, she said last week, I can't succeed at anything. I failed. Look at what she's doing now. And guess what? Please tell me your name again. Margaret. Margaret, once the shop is get, I'm going to buy your dad a ticket to come. Yeah. Yeah. Because... So, we must remember between now and October 2nd that that is coming. And, you know. <laughs> even my parents watch the videos. Normally, they are supposed to even query me that why will I have that suicidal thought. But they are so proud of me that I was able to open up. And Praise God. They are really, really happy. And they are so happy, Pastor B. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Praise Thank God. you. Thank you, Harvester's family. Thank you.